Hi, here we are. Welcome to the CCTV Holiday Party. Richard Kemp, can you believe the turnout? I'm very surprised and it's nice to see people that I don't, don't even know. Well, <laughs> it's nice to know that free speech is supported by so many people. That's uh, a sign of curiosity in our current society. If you look around at the way the media is squeezing and pushing and eliminating free speech all over the place, and we're doing it here. But don't you think people aren't that happy about it? I mean, do you think that most people are okay with free speech being squeezed? I don't think people are very happy about it, but I would suspect people don't even really know what's happening to them. <laughs> Well, as a, as a person who is an active user of public access television, which you are, you make the show near and far, you've made almost, I would say, hundreds of episodes of that program. Isn't that true? I think that's true, and it's really a kind of a delight, and I, I would also use this as a, a commercial, too. It's something that people can do, and it's available to you in the community. Just come down here and talk to us about what you want to, not what you want to put on, or when you can put it on, <laughs> because there's no real restriction, I, th I think almost no restriction on what you can say in the content kind of material. Absolutely. And that's very important. It really is. And I want to just wish everyone um, a Merry Christmas and a Happy Hanukkah and a Happy Holidays, because we are here having our holiday party. It's the 20th anniversary of Channel 17. It's the 27th, it will be, anniversary of CCTV and public access in Vermont. In Vermont. In Vermont. And uh, we have a number of folks from other access channels here. Maybe we'll round them up. But first, I'd like to give Richard a little certificate of appreciation. Here we go, Richard. Thank you so much for all of your work. Well, thank you very much. On the CCTV board and making television and standing tall. And for you, well, I've been standing tall for some time. Well, you <laughs> have. Taller than I. But I, I just want to say there should be an award here for Lauren Glenn Davidian for what she's done over all of the years about making public access and make channel, this channel available to people in the public. So that's my, I didn't bring a, an award for you, but that's my reward to you. Thank you, Richard. I really appreciate it. And thanks. Um, we've got I've got Jonathan and Beth right over there, and we're going to bring them over oh. because they are usually behind the camera, and we don't usually get to see them. So we're going to have um, Jonathan come over and Beth come over, and uh, Jonathan McCandless and Beth McMullen. How are you? Come on close to me. Come on over here. Let's get close. Let's have a group hug. Come on. I'll give you this in a second. I, I'm going to give you this in a second. You know, the two of you have been volunteering for Channel 17, you f in particular for ages, and Beth also for a long time. And you're usually behind the camera. But why do you keep coming week after week to volunteer your time, Jonathan? Because um, I like all the live shows, and I like all the new and interesting people, and I like the holiday party with all the food and the nice people. And I've been here for seven years already, and it's fun to volunteer here. Thank you for letting me volunteer, and I'm going to keep coming for as long as I can. Oh, we're so, I'm so honored. I really am. And Beth, you have been involved um, with both Jonathan and Ivan, and, and then you step behind the camera at a certain time. Yep. <laughs> and I love it. <laughs> what, what, for the, in the last couple months, what have been interesting shows that you've seen and been part of? Oh, uh, gee, it's hard to, I, I like to learn about this area and what people are doing. Um, I like to learn about the schools, um, the Commissioner's Corner. Very much I'm fascinated. I was a teacher once, and uh, um, I like his read hearing about historical tours, and, and um, I like knowing what politically is being planned by groups, and um, just, um, I've never had, um, a channel to the kind of uh, conversation that we get to listen to just because we're behind the camera. <laughs> and then we make it available to the public, which feels like something that's very important. Well, we're pretty happy um, this week in particular because we finalized a contract with Comcast. So we have funding to go until 2016, so another six years, which is great news. And it's um, important because the cable subscribers fund Channel 17, but also we couldn't do it without the support of great volunteers like you. Yep, and this July, well, this July 26 will be my eighth year of volunteering at the TV station. Oh my gosh, well let's give you a little certificate in advance of appreciation Thank for you. all of your help 
and good work here at Channel 17 and CCTV. Yep. Thank you so much. Yep, you're welcome. Thank you to the staff that, that helps us understand what, what to do and, and how to get better. Great. A lot of support from Jeff and Rob. And yeah, Rob everybody. Riber is fantastic. Jeff Wyman. Yeah, they've Perfect been team. real pleasure working with everybody. I just can't think of all the names at the moment, but I could go down a roster. Nice, nice place to be. Thank you so much, Beth. I appreciate it. Okay. Thank you so much, folks who are watching. Um, we we're talking to some of our volunteers, the folks that make Channel 17 and CCTV a great place. And we have Lee Terhune here with us. Lee, welcome. Hi. How are you? I'm really good. I'm really glad to be here. Good food tonight. Yeah, it's a nice party. It's a good time. Um, you know, you've been a community activist from even when you were, lived in Colchester, I That's remember. Right. And um, that was the early years of Channel 17. And before that, when I lived in Williston. <laughs> Is that right? Yeah. I cut my teeth on the Pyramid Mall in Williston with um, Ben and Jerry and, and Joan Knight and the whole group of us, concerned citizens of Williston. And then I moved to Colchester. But I was close to Burlington. And so um, I worked with the Peace and Justice Center. That was how I got involved in activism in Burlington. You know, we made a video uh, for the city of Burlington about the Pyramid Mall before there was any development in Williston. And, I, and one of the things we did is we went to Plattsburgh and we drove down the, the thoroughfares of Plattsburgh and videotaped it and then cut the fields of Williston, intercut it with the, with the yeah. sprawl of Plattsburgh. Yeah. And the other day I was driving my daughter, Stella Rose is 11, and I said, you know, it used to be that the only thing that was here was Skateland and the imported auto place and the state police and all the rest for farms. And I looked around and I realized it looked just like that drive through Plattsburgh 25 years ago. And there's been a huge, huge change in the community, hasn't there? Do you think that we got a better development by waiting for Maple Tree Place? I mean, we got the same kind of sprawled development, but think of what Pyramid Mall looked like and think of what Maple Tree Place looks like. We got a better deal. I think. I think either way you do it, it's, there's a kind of inevitability to the development of retail. And it's a different the time. Interstate. The interstate is going to bring it no matter what. And now they're fighting over whether to put another interstate interchange in South Burlington. And I saw Bill Stono here tonight, and there's a whole contingent in, in South Burlington that are fighting that. Well, luckily at Channel 17, you can find out all about it. That's right. Which is the neat thing, is that right. you can sit through those meetings even if you're not there. That's right, and you know I do. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know you do because you really give us good feedback. You know, I call in when things are wrong, like I found the, on, on a clickable agenda on a meeting that I have to refer to regularly because of something I'm writing, and the clickable agenda is wrong. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad you do that. Now, you've been very involved in the NPA in the New North End. And tell us a little bit about what's going on out there and why that's an important area for you to be engaged in. Well, I really love grassroots democracy. And when I lived in Williston and in Colchester, we had a town meeting. And town meeting was wonderful. I mean, we voted on things that were controversial in the community. And sometimes the votes were one or two or three votes. And then we'd re-vote. And somebody would take their wife's hand and push it up. And you know, those were exciting times. So then I came to Burlington, and there was nothing. And then I discovered this thing called the NPAs. And I remember the first meeting that Chuck and I went to, we couldn't find it. And when we finally did find it, after, you know, like we went to the Heineberg Center and we went to St. Mark's Church and everybody said, you know, I think, it's, I think it's here, I think it's there. So we finally found it and it was in the library in Hunt School at these little tables and chairs. And when we came in, I remember people looked at us like, who are these people? What are they doing here? Um, but I saw the potential of NPAs to be like the town meetings in other Vermont towns. And it is. It really is. I go to them all over the city now for one reason or another, and it's just great watching people come alive with the spirit of democracy. Oh, and what you do is such a big part of that, such a big part of that. You know, just the other day I heard somebody saying, why doesn't the Parks Commission ta uh, tape their meetings? Why can't we watch their meetings? And so we did a resolution and asked them to please tape their meetings. And then that discussion led to, why doesn't the Finance Board tape their meetings? We need the Finance Board to tape their meetings. Well, you know, Nancy Kaplan, who's the Burlington rep, 
for Channel 17 is here tonight. So it would be good to get together with her and she's, tell her about that. She's on your board. Yes, on the Channel 17 okay. trustees. Yeah. Well, I think, though, that w the people we have to move are the people on the Parks Commission, for example, and the Finance Board. I mean, ultimately, they're the ones, aren't they, that make that decision. And we, can, um, we could organize to see if we could get that to happen, if that's what people are interested in. We're interested. All right, good. Yeah. So in the meantime, I'm going to give you a certificate of appreciation to thank you so much. Thank you. It's a small token. It's but been my pleasure. And tonight the food is great. Oh, good. So we cook <laughs> too so and we make TV. Thank you so much. James Giroux. Hello. You are a community producer par excellence, meaning you are our most, most busiest and productive community producer. Well, coming from you, uh, coming from you, that couldn't be a bigger compliment. And I'd just like to tell you and uh, thank everybody for letting me come in here every Monday. almost feel like I'm one of the staff here, but everybody watch the Artful Word. It's cctv.org. Click in Giro, G-E-R-O, and you'll see a lot of art openings, history. Never know what's coming from the Artful Word. I really don't know either, but uh, it's time to you know thank everybody for letting me be a producer here, and I really love that. Well, we, I was just watching the Pomerillo Christmas party that you did. We had that on today. Yeah, I, I hear I messed up the, the light balance a little bit in, in there, but I got good audio, and I've got some good audio, and uh, there's a lot of noise from the kids, but if I can come away with something, uh, usually I'm having to work on my light balances and things are, that are technical in the field, besides being a producer and trying to get people to talk, but I'm fairly uh, lucky on in those regards, but on the edit end, uh, I'd like to thank Bill a lot for fixing the linear edit system for me, because I do have uh, sort of a little dyslexic and I have a hard time with computers so having that linear system available uh, has really helped me quite a bit and it's really put me back in the swing of things. If you were to encourage anybody watching to make television what would you say to them? I would say probably just take a camera and go uh, I love the lake uh, I love being near a swamp or anywhere where there's birds and take a video camera and this is just the way I would do it or the way that I got started and start doing things uh, in nature and then putting them together and then see where you can take it from there. That's great. That's inspiring. I have a certificate for you. Wonderful. I am. Um, why don't you hold the microphone okay, while I sure. find it because it's here and it's a small token of our appreciation. Here it is. To thank you for all your work, your hours of programming that is really fine and really connects us in a way that meetings don't. So we're really appreciative of the work you do. So thank you so much. All right, thank you, and uh, I really appreciate this, and I'll always treasure this. Thank you. James Turo, one of our great community producers. We, um, we're going to bring Elsie, Elsie Hines here. Elsie had one of the most popular programs this year. He's part of the next generation. How are you, Elsie? Nice to see you. I'm good. Thanks for coming. How's it going? It's going good. So how did you um, get here to Channel 17? All over the summer, um, my mom, Wanda Hines, most people have probably heard of her. She had a show here, and um, they offered, and I went with her, and they offered me to do some camera work, and I liked it, so I came back. And you come every week now, don't you? Yeah. And you're directing, aren't you? Yeah. Well, not now, but like... Well, right now, right, right now. Like, for most shows, I direct. That's amazing. Yeah. Do you think um, television is something you might want to do when you, as you get older? Yeah, sure, maybe. Um, uh, I think that I'm probably uh, going to go into uh, something with technology. Maybe, uh, maybe not television is the way to go, but definitely something involving a lot of uh, something involving technology. Maybe designing websites. Uh, this is fine for now. I mean, this is probably going to look good on a college application. So, like, it, it brings some options for me. Well, and it's all media. I mean, it's all digital, and you're talking about whether it's computers or video. It's all part of the same mix, isn't it now? Indeed, it is. So if you were to encourage other young people to um, get involved with Channel 17, what would you say to them? Uh, join, uh, join, Channel, uh, sorry, join Channel 17, it's a lot of fun. Uh, um, it teaches you some valuable skills and you meet a lot of smart people. And um, it's a good educational experience along with uh, um, something to keep you occupied. It's a good time here, it's, uh, it's a very friendly environment, it's good. Well, thanks, and here's a, um, a certificate of appreciation for you. Thank you, and um, you know, 
one of the things I was saying before you came on is that the show you did on technology is one of the most watched programs that we have on, on the web. So thanks for bringing the viewers to us. Cool. Thank you. Thanks a lot. So I won't keep you from your responsibilities. I'll get, let you get back to work. All right. Thanks so much. Elsie Hines is uh, one of our star community producers. And um, I'm going to ask Nancy Kaplan actually to join me now because she is a trustee from Channel 17. Nancy, welcome. Thanks so much, Elsie. Talk to you soon. All right, thanks, bye. All right, great. Hi. How are you? I'm good, thanks. Thank you for joining us at the party. Oh, you're welcome. It's a great party once again. Good food. I see the mayor has walked in. Oh, good. There's always fun people. And my son is behind the camera today. That's excellent. Yeah. So we have some good news to share, which is that we um, yeah. are about to ink a deal with Comcast for Channel 17. I have to say, I have not seen a staff and a board work harder on a contract. You guys really, it, it was an immense amount of work and I'm really proud to have been a part of it and you guys sealed the deal nice work and I think it I think Comcast also deserves a lot of credit for being a good negotiating partner absolutely this is it's it was a good collaborative process they were polite and easy to deal with more or less and uh, I think the outcome was good for both sides yeah so we have funding secured till 2016 it's great and um, that's when Comcast contract with the state ends so Presumably, we'll renew it then, but we couldn't do it without the cable subscribers. Right, right, absolutely. And it's good to keep public access TV on the air, and that's the point, right? We appreciate your being a trustee, and um, you're going to continue on even though you're not running for re-election. I hope so. I think if I can talk the rest of the city councilors into reappointing me, I'd be happy to stay on as a trustee. It's and been a great job. Why Why do you think, why is this something you want to continue doing? You know, I knew zero about public access TV when I started, and the learning curve was pretty steep. And I just think it's really interesting. I never thought about the issues that you guys bring up about um, free speech, and public media and just getting the word out um, in a way that people don't have to pay for it really it's a community service and I think it's terrific and I just like being a part you're a fun crew Great. thank you so much Nancy Thanks, LG. we appreciate it and I want to thank all of our viewers um, we are having a great time here at the CCTV party I want to welcome the mayor how are you? Very nice good. to see you. See you here? Thanks for years. joining. Yes, 27 years. Oh, no. 27 I know. Years. It I can't know. be that long. It yeah. is. And it's 20 years for Ch Channel 17 this year, too. Yep, that's a real celebration, and uh, you're a vital service to the people of Burlington, no doubt about it. You know, um, Peter Clavel was just in in um, Afghanistan, and he he called and he said, We're, I'm wondering if we can have public access going in Kabul. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought, well, that's a very interesting idea. I wonder, I wonder if that would be the key service then. You know, it would be public access would probably provide most of the information if, it, if you were able to do that. Yeah, and, and, you know, there's so many other ways of communicating with the public, too, with texting and, you know, different devices that I think um, supplement the whole principle of public access. Yeah, no, I agree. So as I understand it, there are five million people in Kabul, and it was a city uh, sort of built for a million. So everybody's pretty close to each other, and this would be a great way to share information. And I think they have a municipal budget of $35 million. How does that compare with the cities? Uh, much less than ours. Yeah. Uh, we're probably at about $260 million, So, and we're a very, very small city. I would say it's a small city with big ideas, but our budget is bigger than Kabul's, and that's, a, that's amazing. Well, congratulations on that award from um, the Home Depot Foundation. Yeah, yeah. so we were, uh, Home Depot declared us the Sustainable Small City of the Year, an achievement award, and I was in Denver to be able to pick up that award with uh, Jen Green, our sustainability director, uh, at the uh, National League of Cities and Towns Congress of Cities. And it was definitely a proud moment, I think, for Burlington, but really for Vermont, because I think as a state we're doing uh, more than a lot of states on the issue of sustainability. Well, I appreciate you coming tonight, and if you were going to say anything about why um, CCTV and free speech is important to you, what would you say? Well, I think we need critical thinking, and to really do that, you need information that matters. And I think uh, you're able to bring that information to the people of Burlington, and, uh, and I think in an un, uh, unadulterated way, and I, I always respect that. Thank you so much. Excellent. Nice to see you. Thanks for stopping by. Happy to be here. It's great to see you. So I want to thank um, everybody here for coming and, and celebrating with us. And I want to remind you that we appreciate the support of CCTV 
of the cable subscribers of CCTV and Channel 17, and we want to encourage you to be a contributor to CCTV and a member. And we're in the midst of our holiday party and also our holiday campaign. So you can always go to cctv.org and donate. We certainly um, would appreciate that because it will help us to guarantee the future of free speech. And I think um, with that, we're going to wrap up tonight's show, but maybe let's just have a look at the audience and see what's going on out there. And without further ado, I'm going to thank you very much. See you later.